Good morning. How are you today? Welcome to your spiritual vibrational message. And this message today is in regards to being a extravagant giver. And hi, I'm Dr. Tracy K. Welcome. Thank you for coming to share your practice with me. And uh, let's get started. And I just want to talk to you right now about being an extravagant giver. Today, what I mean by being an extravagant giver is an extravagant giver is being the best possible life that we you know. Now, sometimes we think, well, I can't give all the time. If I give all the time, I won't have anything left, right? Or maybe we think if someone asks us for something that I don't have, well, how do you expect me to give, right, Dr. Tracy K? Well, I'm going to tell you about this today and that there is never a time that you are empty-handed. You always have something to give. Now, in the good book, they always talk about how uh, they were in a temple worshiping in a given time and everybody came to worship. And back then, you could just imagine how the crowd was. Everything and everybody came into the temple and they wanted a good seat. You know, they wanted to be there to rush to get there and they wanted to get the seat because someone might take it, right? Well, you were all busy. Anyways, they came walking in this temple and they start raising and and what happened was they passed by a guy and now and you know the good book talks about all kinds of stories about a man did this and a man did that. And there always one healing. So the people were trying to come get healing and they wanted to be healed, they wanted to be spiritually set. So if they had a health issue or if they were crippled or you know, they wanted a place Oh, they wanted to make sure they got there so they could be healed that day, right? They were begging and pushing, pleading and, you know, anything to get that help that they needed. And on this particular type of day, um, there was one of the disciples that was walking through and he said, you know, I see something, anybody raising their hand. And they're waving like, I need money, I need money, I need money, I need money. I'm so poor, I'm so poor. I don't have anything to give. My pockets, please help me, please help me. And you always see this in our own life. People who, you know, when you pass on the streets and you see somebody with a big old cardboard sign saying, you know, I'm homeless, please give. Or if you're on Facebook and you see, oh, we're homeless, please give. Or I have something that needs, you think, oh, wow, you know. What do I have? You know, what do I have? Do I look at my pockets? Look at my pocketbook? Should I pass it by? And, you know, we all feel that guiltiness of passing by something like that because we know we're all in our own struggling and we're all own dealing with our own issues when it comes to finances or physical or mental health issues. And, you know, I don't feel like I've ever gotten anything to give or you haven't got anything, but I just want to know what I can give because it's all in us. It's all in us. And we don't want to deny it. We don't want to deny that person. We don't want to not try to. And you're like, yeah, 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 you know. And so when I passed by, I, you know, I, I just want to ignore him. Well, I didn't see him. I didn't see him, right? You just kind of ignore it. Like, I didn't see that. I didn't pay attention to it, right? We all do it. Like, we just ignore it, don't we? We just ignore it. Yes, I'm so glad that you understand that. And you're human. If you're not bad, it's okay. And, you know, do understand that money is not really a thing. Why we put so much emphasis on it, it's just a vibration. A lot of now today, we can't even touch that money. It's all in the digital air, right? So you want to look up to the area when we say being an extravagant giver you always every one of you have something to give and it can be as simple as liking this video sharing it with someone giving sharing is caring 
giving is believing. Because when you leap into that area and you're praising something, you're taking your time out, you're praising something, you're never empty handed. I want to tell you this. You are never empty handed. So if someone is asking you for a simple thing like, like this video, comment some good vibes, show some gratitude. That is nothing out of your pocket, you know, or calling someone and saying hi, giving a little bit, donating a couple of dollars, five dollars here, five dollars there. The next time you run into a situation, you know, where you're getting a spiritual message, let me tell you something. Tithing is a very powerful, powerful gift and tool that each and one of us have. And you can never, ever expect that you don't have something to give. It will enrich your life. See, prayer is powerful. Meditation is powerful. Love is powerful. It all has a ripple vibrational effect on you. It's a message. Money is a vibration. Why do we put so much emphasis? Giving is about blessing, about helping to create. Giving is boosting. It's a blessing in disguise. You know, I have a hand. I have the word. I have a simple click of a mouse that can like this video or like this post on Facebook. Share it with someone. Comment saying, I hear you. I believe in you. It only takes two seconds. Help out. Be that one that is you saying, yes, I can do it. Yes, I can do it. And that's today, right? It needs to be today. You have it because you're never empty-handed. A lot of times we don't have enough financially, of course. You know, we can praise. Praise it to be. Give it. When someone is, solves a problem, we don't have enough to get them out of a situation. See, I know there was a young boy, there's a story about this young boy, he packed a lunch one morning, and he decided he was going to go see, you know, praise, and, and he put five loaves of bread, and he thought, well, I'll just take this uh, this afternoon, when I get hungry, I'll have a good breakfast, but I'll take care of me first this afternoon. So he was standing in this crowd, and he's watching all this event going on, and there was a speaker there, and it's probably in the good book. You know, it was a very powerful speaker. And he came around these people, and the boy was like, Oh my goodness, but this is not enough. I can't really give because I don't have enough to, to share my lines with everybody. Um, the boy said, Well, I'll just, I ha I'll give it away anyways, see what would happen. Well, that day, that lunch, after the after the crowd got done in the land, lunch was done, and there was a little bit here. Enough, only enough, so that this these breads, you know, could just feed a few people. But what happened was, just a few of those loves to share with somebody. It was amazing how each one of those pieces of love, as it was broken into pieces and pieces and shared and given and passed on, it ended up, even though this boy didn't think it was enough to share, it actually shared with everyone. And it was abundantly mentally shared with this huge smile of this connection of just these simple little pieces of love were broken into pieces and passed on and shared. That is what I'm talking about. This is always we might not think you have enough to give but believe it or not that little can turn into a lot and that's the way it is relationship that's the way it is with your finances there's always more than enough in this universe we are abundant and prosperous it's up to you but the matter is how small that giving and serving others can help others but do you know what really want that giving does you know what that really that giving does it's a powerfully 
transformation. And that is part of life. And it's on the highest level. Think not only on your own life, but in the lives around you. Be that extravagant giver. Have that mentally, physically open hand offer to see how your little can make it into a much. Right? Exactly. What a great message. What a great message. So show today that you can be that powerful, extravagant giver by breaking those pieces of loaves and turning that little into a lot. Do that right now. All you have to do is like this video, share it, comment, subscribe, and pass it along. I hope you have a wonderful, abundant, prosperous, beautiful, positive, vibrational, spiritual day. Thank you for coming to share your practice with me today. I send you all light and love, and now I bow to claim it.